in this video we are going to discuss about equivalence of two finite state machines so we have to check whether two finite state machines are equal or not whether they may be either dfas or nfas so let us see whether these two finite state machines finite automatas are equivalent or not so in order to solve this problem so first we have to take the initial state of both the finite machines so here in this uh, let it be m1 let this finite automata is m1 let this finite state machine is m2 so in this uh, finite automata q0 is initial state q1 is final state so here q1 is the final state whereas q0 is non final state so that can be called as intermediate state whereas if you consider this diagram p1 is final state whereas p0 and p2 are intermediate state so here we have to focus on whether the state is final state or intermediate state so in this mission q1 is the final state whereas q0 is the intermediate state whereas in this mission in this diagram p1 is final state whereas p0 and p2 are intermediate states so here uh, what are the input symbols 0 1 are the input symbols so here first we have to start from so by taking the initial state of both the machines so in this final state mission q0 is the initial state whereas in this mission p0 is the initial state q0 on 0 q0 on 0 q0 only uh, here let us take some curly brace curly brace so q0 on 0 means q0 only next p0 p0 on 0 means p0 only so we have to check whether this pair contains only final states or only intermediate states if the pair contains only final states or only intermediate states then there is no problem whereas if the pair contains uh, one state as the final state one state as the intermediate state then we can say that these two final state missions are not equivalent if we consider this pair q0 is intermediate state intermediate state whereas p0 is also intermediate state so there is no problem so let us apply one on q0 and p0 so q0 on one means q1 next to p0 on one means p1 q1 is final state p1 is final state so here the pair contains both the states as final states so there is no problem so now we have to check whether these states are new states or old states if if first state is q0 p0 q0 p0 is old state only this is already processed already explored let us focus on the next one q1 p1 q1 p1 is nothing but new state now let us apply the transitions on q1 p1 so the next state is so the next pair is q1 p1 so first we have to apply zero q1 on zero means q1 only next to p1 on zero means p1 only q1 is nothing but final state p1 is nothing but final state so here the pair contains both the states as final states only so there is no problem now let us apply one on q1 p1 q1 on one means q1 on one means q0 p1 on one p1 on one p2 here q0 is intermediate state p2 is intermediate states so both the states are intermediate states so there is no problem so q1 p1 is processed now let us check the second row uh, so here the first state is q1 p1 q1 p1 is nothing but old state only it is already processed next state is q0 p2 q0 p2 is the new state now let us explore q0 p2 q0 on 0 means q0 
नेक्स्ट P2 टू ऑन जीरो पी टू ऑन जीरो मीन्स पी टू क्यू नॉट इज इंटरमीडिएट स्टेट पी टू इज इंटरमीडिएट स्टेट इंटरमीडिएट स्टेट सो ही एट द पेर कंटेन्स बोथ द स्टेट इंटरमीडिएट स्टेट ओनली सो देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट इज अप्लाई वन क्यू नॉट ऑन वन मीन्स क्यू वन पी टू ऑन वन मीन्स पी वन Q1 is final state, P1 is final states. So here the pair contains both the states as final states only. Uh, now uh, here Q0 P2 is processed. Now let us check the third row. Q0 P2 already processed whole state only. Q1 P1 already processed whole state only. So all the states are explored. So there are new no new states here. So we can say that. these two finite automatas are equivalent let us assume that here if we got a pair like this q not comma p1 let us assume that we have got a pair like this if we observe q not p1 q not is intermediate state p1 is final state so if we get a pair like this the pair contains uh, uh, intermediate state as well as final state then we can say that uh, those two final state machines are not equivalent but in this example but in this example here all the pairs are uh, all the pairs may contain either intermediate states or final states only so we can say that these two final state machines are equivalent so this is about equivalence of two finite state machines